With school kids heading back into classrooms like we were talking about for these in person classes, masks are going to be commonplace here in California and a new vaccine education campaign called It's Up to You aims to help parents make informed decisions about how to navigate the new school year. Today we are joined by American Academy of Pediatrics President Dr. Lee Beers, who's encouraging parents to take advantage of new resources that are available. Hi, Dr. Beers. Hi, how are you? Nice to talk to you. Nice to talk to you as well. Why don't you share some tips for parents on how they can navigate the COVID-19 pandemic, especially as we look at the new school year? Yeah, absolutely. I'd be happy to. And, you know, first, I mean, first for parents, I'm a parent too. Congratulations on making it through the past year. It, it hasn't been easy. And 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 I think you should feel really proud of yourselves for, for making it through. You know, that said, I know parents still have a lot of questions. And so I think there's a couple of things. You know, first, if you do have questions, make sure that you reach out and talk to your pediatrician. Um, if you haven't been back in for a well visit, get, get in and, and talk to your pediatrician and you can go through all your questions about COVID-19 or, or anything else. I think the second piece that's really important if you you or, or you have a, a teen who's eligible, make sure you get vaccinated against COVID-19. Um, we've got lots of good resources out there for you. Um, you know, you, again, your pediatrician can answer questions, but, but also um, we've got a lot of good information out there uh, online that, that you can use and know that it's, it's reliable and vetted by experts. Uh, one great example is our website, getvaccineanswers.org as well as a website from the American Academy of Pediatrics, healthychildren.org. Well, we've definitely been talking a lot about the vaccines the past several months. What are some of the measures you suggest that kids and teens can take to further protect themselves against severe effects from COVID-19? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think, right, we, this is, this is, we've learned a lot over the past year. And so we do know what our tools are to help keep us safe and protected against COVID-19. Um, first, as I just mentioned, you know, of course, you know, get the vaccine if you're, if you're, if you're eligible for it. Um, and for our younger kids, you know, when, you know, ask, you know, parents, talk to your pediatricians about what questions you might have for when the vaccine is available for our younger kids as well. I think other things to think about too, particularly uh, coming back to schools is how do we prevent spread of COVID in schools and how can we make sure that our kids get back to school for in-person learning safely? Um, you know, I think that's going to involve a number of, of precautions we recommend. We call it layering precautions so that you, you know, ha you know, you, you sort of implement a number of different measures to help help keep yourself and your kids safe. Um, those things include things like good hand washing, uh, you know, make, maintaining some physical distancing within the school, wearing masks when you're in the indoor settings uh, for ages two and up, uh, to, you know, at ages, children ages two and up and adults. Um, and then also, you know, with the, for the schools, making sure that they have things like access to testing, uh, make sure, you know, good information to share with their parents and their staff. Well, you know, facts are facts, but sometimes or even right now when it comes to the vaccine, some of it's still unclear for a lot of people. So what facts can you share about the vaccine when it comes to safety, efficacy, eligibility, and maybe some of the other questions that you hear regularly? Yeah, absolutely. You know, this really is a safe and effective vaccine and, and probably actually the most powerful thing I can tell you is that again, as I said, I'm the parent of two teenagers um, and both of our kids got the COVID-19 vaccine as soon as it was available to them. And so, you know, with all the access that I have to experts and, and knowledge, you know, I, I this was a decision that I that my husband and I made and we feel really comfortable that this is a safe and effective vaccine. I think the other thing to know for, for parents and families that this has really been a very well studied vaccine. Um, you know, it's it's we've we've been we've known about this technology. We've been working on this technology for almost a decade now, um, and and you know we're just we're 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 really grateful that that we were able to put it into play for the for COVID nineteen. So you know, this really is something that we we know a lot about, and we actually have a lot of experience with. I think also to know you know at this point, all, over nine million adolescents have gotten at least one dose of the COVID nineteen vaccine. There's still a lot more who who need to get it. Um, um, but but we do have quite a bit of experience with it. So so you know I think oh, overall it's a safe and effective vaccine, and and we know that getting infected with with COVID nineteen can can be a very serious illness, and the infection itself can cause many long term side effects. Dr. Bears, I want to thank you for sharing this information with our audience today. If you want more information on what she was talking about when you're talking about kids and masking and vaccines, you can go to getvaccineanswers.org.